Welcome to part 3 of seronegative, spondylorthopathy's lecture. Skin disease activity does not correlate with arthritis. This picture shows pustular psoriasis, extraarticular manifestations of psoriasis, nail lesion, pitting or onychalysis. Nail onychalysis in the patient has psoriasis, dactylitis in a patient with psoriasis, conjunctivitis, mouth ulcers in the patient has psoriasis. Diagnosis is mainly clinical. ESR and CRP may be raised. RF, CCP and ANA are generally negative. PSA has several characteristic radiographic features, psoriatic arthritis, progressive joint changes, pendulum cup appearance, x-ray shows spur formation in the patient has, psoriasis, with hill pain, DMARDS as, MTX, lefleunamide, cyclosporine, but is not frequently used because of its toxicity. DMARDS improve cutaneous and joint symptoms. TNF blockers for patients with active synovitis who respond inadequately to standard DMARDS. Hydroxychloroquine is generally avoided, as it can cause exfoliative skin reactions. Reactive arthritis in a classical triad patient has reactive arthritis, conjunctivitis, urethritis, conjunctivitis, mouth ulcers and the patient has reactive arthritis, ureteroderma blanaragica on the soles of the feet and less often on the palms of the hands. X-rays are seldom helpful during the acute attack. In chronic or recurrent disease, periarticular osteopenia. Joint space narrowing. Large fluffy calcaneal spurs. CT, MRI for diagnosing sacroiliitis, calcaneal spur, treatment, nonspecific chlamydial urethritis is usually treated with a short course of doxycycline or a single dose of azithromycin, and this may reduce the frequency of arthritis in sexually acquired cases. NSAIDs DMARDS, sulfaslazine and methotrexate. Short courses of steroids may provide symptomatic relief until DMARDS became effective. Anterior ovitis is a medical emergency requiring topical, subconjunctival or systemic corticosteroids. TNF antagonists should be a therapeutic alternative only for patients refractory to conventional therapy. Physical therapy to prevent contractures and muscle atrophy in patients with spinal involvement, enteropathic arthritis, and acute inflammatory oligoarthritis occurs in around 10% of patients with ulcerative colitis and 20% of those with Crohn's disease. It predominantly affects the large lower limb joints, knees, ankles, hips, but wrists and small joints of the hands and feet can also be involved. The arthritis usually coincides with exacerbations of the underlying bowel disease, no gender predilection. It has a familial association. It has an approximately 30% association with HLA-B27 expression. These are common extra-intestinal manifestations of IBD. Treatment is aimed at controlling GIT symptoms and disease progression. Please be ready with your questions in the next face-to-face -face session. Thank you.